Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today we're gonna be talking about the Azteca Raid trailer that just dropped. Um everyone kinda already knew we were gonna get an Azteca Raid. I've already talked about it before. Uh Cam has talked about it multiple times on his stream. We all know that the raid was gonna be Azteca themed, but we now know what's the actual name. It's gonna be called Crying Sky Raid. That is going to be the new raid that's going to be coming to Wizard 101. I know a lot of people have a lot of concerns regarding uh, the trailer and uh, raids in general, which I've already talked about in a previous video, but we're probably just mainly going to be talking about the actual trailer. Uh, I'm not going to do a frame by frame analysis because there's a lot of it's not too much content to cover, but I'm going to go over my thoughts and opinions of what it could mean for the whole trailer so we're gonna watch it all the way through once and then i'll go over some points and i'll give you guys my opinions on certain things so let's get into the actual video part shibola wakes shibola walks shibola hungers shibola hatches So that's it when it comes to the actual trailer right it's very small and even if you were to do a frame by frame analysis on many of this or on the whole entire thing right there's only a couple scenes to actually point out right just from my experience with the previous raid i can give you guys some things that i did notice uh regarding this whole trailer there is anything else that they posted out when it comes to uh social media um this is all we know we do have some hd images that people have found and are using that uh for thumbnails and such and etc but the whole premise is they say shababa wakes it walks it hungers it hatches right that could also relate to four different areas right or that could just be the whole purpose of just them adding dialogue right um but now let's actually go over some main points right so we have the little spiral image that they show right in the clouds and we have some meteors i don't think they'll add an effect of where a meteor hits you while you're walking <laughs> and you take damage i doubt that will be a thing right i know they like to tend uh tend to try out new things um and a lot of people are talking about this image right here so i don't think this is the quote-unquote main boss of the raid if this is the main boss, I feel like a lot of people are going to feel like this is underwhelming. <laughs> because to me, this looks like a storm in a life. I feel like Archmaster is going to play a huge key in, in this raid. Because if you think about it, when it came to the previous raid, the whole point of it was um, trying out the whole Gambit mechanic, right? With this one, I think they're going to try to focus a lot more on Archmaster and dual schooling. Which would make a lot of sense, right? Because they want to follow their trends and what their, I guess, main focus is for coming into the game. So, like, if you guys can tell by the previous gear that we've been achieving, uh, that they've been releasing as well, it's all dual school related. So maybe some of these fights require some type of dual school mechanic or cheat is required. Maybe you have to play an opposite school, similar to how we have for uh, Lord Magus. If you guys don't know what Lord Magus is. Um, that is a key boss fight. It's right near Loremaster and Dragonspire. And you have to play a different school other than your own. I'm hoping that isn't the case. Because when it comes to Vanguard, right? When it comes to the Vanguard team, imagine your whole team is opposite. So usually for the previous uh, raid, we had a Vanguard of two fires, a storm, and a life. Now imagine we had two lives playing as fires meaning they're dual schooling with fire predominantly and they have fire stats, which is easily achievable, which I was working on a video that you can get like 250 damage or 215 damage, my bad, uh, on a fire or on a life with fire damage. Pretty easy to achieve. So you can have fire stats on a life. Hopefully that doesn't play too much of a part because we would have to remake a lot of things, which would be interesting to be fair though, right? But I think Archmaster is going to play a whole key or factor into this raid that's just my opinion this is just my initial thoughts right just judging by seeing this mob seeing like a storm if you can see the little lightning bolts it could be a storm and an ice but I, this seems like a storm in life to me while watching this through and you can see like the little images as well and they even zoom in on it so to me this seems like a storm in life i could be wrong right 
Um, this is just bare minimum initial thoughts. Uh, then we have this frame. Uh, I'm not too sure what this could possibly be. This could just be like a little side part of the fight. But you can see these little blue things right here. They might correspond to something. Or it's just uh, standalone graphics that they have added. Um, but it seems like this might be like a spreading mechanic. Don't know yet. But it does seem kind of interesting when we're looking at this whole frame, right? And I would hope to see them add some type of mechanic if you were to walk in certain frames um or not certain frames if you were to walk in certain aspects uh in the raid where it might cause you to lose health similar to the whole mechanic of the drum mechanic that we had in the previous raid so we had mana gain and you had to play drums if not you were gonna lose mana the vanguard team was gonna lose mana so i wonder we might have like a separate thing for hp instead but that would be kind of interesting but at the same time, I don't know what they would do, but some people said that this could relate to some type of losing health type of effect where you have to get get something in this little poison area and it might relate to helping out the Vanguard or some type of other mechanic. But the area and the aesthetic, a lot of people said that it just seems like they pulled out parts of uh, the PvP arena. There is an Azteca PvP arena that we do have. And some people are saying they just pulled out stuff from here and just toss it into like a a brand new space like kind of like a whole minecraft system you know how like minecraft you can you know build your own areas you can if you use world edit you can copy and paste the stuff so people were saying they just did the similar thing for this like they pulled out assets from other sources and then just combined it which i mean they're using their resources right <laughs> if that's true um also you see this with the meteor it leaves like some type of effect some people said it might relate to something but i doubt that they would add a meteor mechanic where like if you were to get hit by it it might cause damage but like i said anything's possible when it comes to this raid they're always gonna be trying out new stuff but we'll just have to wait and see i guess the main image or the main reference we have is just this boss i'm praying this is not the actual main boss i really doubt it but i think we'll have multiple um enemies that are similar to this and hopefully we have a boss that fits the theme you know because the whole point of it is azteca theme right i don't want to see this represented as azteca everyone knows azteca is not represented this seems more like straight out of imperia <laughs> just reworked a little bit um but you can't at the moment you can't uh or from what i know at least from what cam told me is that you can't farm the monstrology for the enemy that is going to be for the key the, the enemy that's going to be for the key usually we have like some type of monster that we have to extract uh for example like the previous raid we had to get Serathax. a lot of people are saying oh let me just pre-farm monstrology in case for it's going to be one of those bosses in uh, azteca you know but from what people are saying it's going to be a, a new entity that you're going to have to farm for monstrology which if that's the case that would be good so people just don't go ahead of themselves and just start farming like crazy just random bosses and just you know stacking up on monstrology and another thing is for when it comes to the raid a lot of people are getting it twisted that you have to farm azoth on test realm you do not you do not have to farm azoth on test realm the key is going to cost one Azoth. Um, they're not going to change that because they want people to test out the raid. And there have been some people saying that they they don't even want to do the raid. But people haven't seen what the raid mechanics are or anything like that. Um, and Cam did say this one is going to be harder than the last raid. Which we'll see. Hopefully you don't have the whole situation we had last or it wasn't the last year oh yeah you could say last year at this point with the whole devs win situation um and that whole twitter situation <laughs> um but we'll just have to wait and see but this is all we have right now for the azteca raid hopefully you guys enjoyed me going over it kind of you know just roughly over there are a lot of frames i can go over and you know spend some time on but um we'll just have to wait and see and most likely test room is going to be on monday from my experience from the past couple test rooms, it's been on Monday, and I really feel like this test room is going to be on this Monday as well. It would be really surprising if they release it like on a Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm going to be honest, I really think the test room is going to be on Monday. And some people are asking if I'm going to be raiding on test room. At the moment, I'm really not too sure. Uh, Farrick might not even raid, so I don't think 
other people want to raid as well and if i do find people to do the raid with i will definitely definitely stream it um but i'm pretty sure other people are going to be streaming it like sauce gume I, i'm not too sure if gume is but i feel like uh sauce gume maybe liam all the other content creators like the main ones might do it but i don't think i am i'll try my best to get people together and show that for you guys on stream and you know make a whole video out of it my first thoughts on the raid but uh, we'll just have to wait and see if i get people but that's gonna be it for the video guys hopefully you guys enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe all type of stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys all right so what exactly did you want me to add in the beginning of the video whatever i'm gonna say right now which is you guys new raid oh you recorded that yeah i did record uh, that did oh and the huh huh <laughs> put put the villager sound in too you have to um you have to um i need that <laughs> i need that i need to let me let me record okay i'll be right